All right, thanks, Holly. Yeah, and this next story kind of goes with what Holly was just saying about why they are going to be phasing out that jet. Imperial Valley residents can rest assured there is no contamination in the air or on the ground after a Harrier jet crash in June created concern that the area wasn't safe. 39 Your Side reporter Milrose Bosco has the latest. After nearly two months, the decontamination process has been completed, and now residents are able to go through this street behind me. Residents of Imperial can rest assured that the water and soil are safe, and air is also safe. Some residents say they didn't experience any problems at all after the jet crash. We don't have any problems. Normal life. I think so. Nothing different. Um, all indications show that all, all of the contamination has been cleaned to California standards, uh, so that's obviously great news. Uh, everything is below regulatory levels, uh, so we're, we're definitely very happy about that. Uh, the Marines say no one called them to complain. We had earlier reports that some experienced physical issues because of what was in the air from the crash. Uh, we want to ensure that everyone is taken care of. Obviously, that's, uh, that's a priority for us. Uh, and, you know, the, the uh, MCSU uh, CEO, uh, Colonel Martinez, has, has made it a priority of his. Uh, so it's, uh, it's one of those things where if someone does have a complaint, please uh, reach out to us and, and let us know. Negrete says the water, soil, and air were tested. They'd taken care of all the fuel and fluids from the jet. They say they went house to house to make sure residents had the helpline number. The Marines encourage residents to call them if they're experiencing any problems associated with the crash. The homes are still being worked on. It's not certain when everything will be completed on that end. In Imperial, Melrose Bosco.